Welcome. Let me show you a little cute thing about division by 9. I'm not saying this is useful or a meaningful in any deep way, but it actually illustrates something that's kind of fun to figure out as a puzzle unto itself. Here goes, let me show you the technique first. Most people don't realize that to, all you have to do to divide numbers by 9, like I oh know 211031, I want to divide that by 9, all you have to do is add up the digits in turn. The first digit is 2, I claim the answer is 2. Then the next two digits add together to make 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 4, 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 4. Uh, again, 4. 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 is plus 3 is 7. 2 plus zero, 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus 3 plus 1 is actually 8. But I claim that final digit is actually the remainder. So I bet the answer is 2, 3, 4, 4, 7 with a remainder of 8. Just do the partial sum of the digits. Very mysterious why on earth would be working. Uh, let's just try a smaller example. If I want to do 71 divided by 9, uh, the first digit add up to is the f first single digit is 7, add up the next two digits is 8, and I claim the final thing is the remainder, so I bet the answer is 7 with a remainder of 8. Um, things can get a little funky. Uh, you might have to carry digits. What I mean by that is let's do something like 621 divided by 9. We look at the first digit, first two digits, first three digits, 6, 6 plus 2, 6 plus 2 plus 1. I claim the answer is 68 with a remainder of 9. Most people don't say a remainder of 9. That is a 9 unto itself, so it's really 69 groups of 9. Uh, there may be some more sorts of carrying going involved. Let me just do one more example, something like, I don't know, 4102131. Divide that by 9. Just do the partial sum of the digits. 4, 4 plus 1, plus another 0, plus another 2, plus another 1, plus another 3. Ooh, let's see, uh, that's 11 t plus another 1 makes 12 t I claim the answer is uh, 45, uh, was it 455,780 11 t with a remainder of 12 t Okay, problem. I don't usually write 11 in the units place, it's really 10 and 1, so the answer is really 4, 5, 5, 7, 9, remainder of 12. Most people don't write remainder of 12, that's really 4, 5, 5, 7, 10 t with a remainder of 3. Oh, bother. This is really 4, 5, 5, 7, oh, oops, 8, 0 with a remainder of 3. All right, so what's more of interest here, I'm not saying this is a good method for dividing by 9 in general, but why is it working this way? Why can I just do the partial sum of the digits? first, second, third, up to the fourth, up to the last digit. Why is this working? Here goes. Well, actually, before, while I'm racing, you might want to pause this video and see if you can figure it out for yourself first as a, as a little exercise in strange arithmetic slash algebra. All right, now I'm going to, I'm going to have my turn. Let's choose a, a gory pen color. Uh, most people say are happy to say that 1 divided by 3 is 0 0.33333 if recurring. If I divide both sides by 3 again, a third of 1 third is a ninth, is actually the decimal 0 0.111 forever. If I multiply both sides by 7, I'll get that 7 divided by 9 is actually 0 0.777 forever. Or if I multiply both sides by 2 and still get that 2 divided by 9 is 0 0.222 forever. Um, if I multiply this by 10 and this by 10, actually 20 divided by 9 is 2.222 forever. Or 80 divided by 9 would be, well, down one decimal place is just the units, 8.888 forever. Or 600 divided by 9 would be down one decimal place, a whole bunch of sixes forever. So there we go. Um, this little observation that 1 ninth in our arithmetic system base 10 is 0 0.111 forever is the key to behind this little trick. So if I want to do something like, uh, let's, well, first of all, I want to do something like clear the board. Now, here goes. If I want, say, 512 divided by 9, I'm going to think of this as 510 and 2, each to be divided by 9. Well, 500 divided by 9 will be a whole bunch of 5s, starting one decimal place lower, plus 10 divided by 9 will be a whole bunch of 1s, starting one decimal place lower, plus 2 divided by 9, which is a whole bunch of 2s, starting one decimal place lower. So if I add this up, I get 5 all by itself. In the next place, I get 5 plus 1, some of the first two digits is 6. Point, uh, next two digits is 8, 8, 8, forever. Or if I like, I wasn't doing the estimate decimals last time, this is 56 with a remainder of 8. That's basically the trick, that's all there is to it. As another example, let's do 210311 divided by 9. That's 200,000 divided by 9, so that would be a whole bunch of 2's at the, at the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 10's places, plus a whole bunch of 1's at the 4's 10's places, plus a whole bunch of zeros at the zeros, the three tens places, what am I saying? Uh, 33.333, 3, 3, 3, 
plus uh, 1.111 plus, whoops, 0.1111. There it is, 2, 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1 plus 0, 2 plus 1 plus 0 plus 3, 2 plus 1 plus 0 plus 3, plus 1, da, 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 just as claimed. Uh, it was a very, very fast explanation. Hopefully my slurry language wasn't too um, annoying there, and it made sense. I'm wondering, as a little exercise for you, could you devise a clever divisibility rule by 8, maybe? Or instead of doing just single digit, how about divisibility by 9? That's one less than 100, and 100 is very nice in an arithmetic system. Can you come up with little tricks of this ilk for these sorts of division problems? That could be fun. Thank you very much.